on. What? Oh, you're here for the new review. Oh, okay, okay. One moment, one moment. Let me just set you guys down comfortably here, give you a power source <laughs> so you don't die in the middle of it. And so, hi, hi guys. Welcome to Tanime's Anime Review number 40. You're gonna notice something in a minute. What I mean by that is that this is the second time I'm filming the first of this review. I've already taken my hair out and washed my face so I look a little bit different from what I'm about to look like. Because I had to refilm this, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I think I may have jumped the gun a little bit by taking the posters off my wall to make the mural that I want to make. I'm still going to do it. I was just a little nervous to do it now because when you paint on the wall it becomes a little permanent. <laughs> or at least much harder to fix. I've also had a lot of trouble coming up with a design. I'm still very much going to do it. I've just been very undecisive as to what I'm going to do with it. But I've made progress and I will actually be working on it tonight. I've just been really nervous to do so because it's a little harder to fix it once it's on the wall. <laughs> I've also had a lot more trouble coming up with a design idea than I thought I would. I've got lots of ideas with help from you guys, but to actually put those ideas into practice is much harder. What characters to use, where to place them, how to make it look like they all belong in the same spot. I sketched out a few things, but it just didn't flow right and I ended up scrapping them. I wonder if I bit off more than I can chew. Today's anime review is dedicated to Blue Kino's ex happy head thing. <laughs> Hey, did you guys actually know there's an anime version of me? Are you curious to see it? Let me know! And today's anime is... <laughs> Vic Manana did the voice for Dark! I mean, wait. Jump in the head again! Let's start with the basics! This anime was first released on April 3rd of 2003 and finished on September 25th of 2003 with 26 episodes. It is based off of a manga series which is still actually ongoing today. The manga artist was on hiatus for a while due to illness and things like that so the manga kinda died for a while. But it is still being released. And of course the manga story differs greatly from the anime story. But that alone kind of tells you that this is not going to be a very satisfying ending to the anime. I personally find that when they make an anime off of a manga series that hasn't yet completed, there's always something missing. I don't just mean that there's something missing based off of the original story to the anime, it's just the anime feels like it lost some sort of spark that you didn't even know was supposed to be there. Does that make sense? Do you know what I mean? No? Well, that's okay. <laughs> Half sense, I don't know what I mean either. But it makes sense to me at the time. Now, when I first saw DNA Angel, I fell in love with it. Alter egos, hot guys with wings, action, romance, bonds of friendship, and even a bit of magic. It was a treat for the imagination. And I'm a sucker for characters with wings. Someday, I'll have a pair of my own. This anime is about our main character, Niwa Daisuke. Dai, Daisuke? Dai, Dais, Daisuke? Daisuke? He seems like your typical, awkward, not popular teenage kid. He actually seemed a little like a dork when you first meet him, but he's a dork in love. Which makes them all the cuter. He seems typical with a crazy amount of good luck. But you quickly find out that that good luck is actually something that comes from forced training at home. His father is always testing Daisuke and training him. From collapsing floors to sharp flying objects. Must have been a tough childhood. But our hero does find the courage to confess to his love. A girl named Risa. And he's rejected. Oh, the pains of a broken heart. But later that day, triggered by his broken heart, Daisuke undergoes a transformation and turns into someone else. Enter the ever-so-sexy Dark Mousy. 
Daisuke is then calmly told by his mother that because of a curse on their family known as DNA, the males of the Daisuke family have a chance to develop a counterpart known as Dark Mousy, who is a famous phantom thief. This transformation takes place anytime he thinks about his crush too much. So I guess it's triggered by hormones. <laughs> now here's the kicker. Risa, Daisuke's crush who rejected him, falls in love with his other half, Dark. But Dark falls for Risa's twin sister, Riku, who is Daisuke's friend as well. And then guess who has feelings for Daisuke? It's like a love square. Or rectangle, I guess. No, I guess a triangle still kind of works because Dark and Daisuke are still kind of the same person. Now, remember when I mentioned Dark being a phantom thief? Yeah, that very much comes into play. But even though he's called a thief, he has a very good reason for doing what he does. But the police don't see that, of course, and he is seen as a bad guy. We are later introduced to a character named Hiwatari, who kinda has the same condition as Daisuke, only holding the yin to Daisuke's yang. <laughs> With dark must come light. Enter Crad. Crad will do anything to take dark down. And some of my favorite parts in this anime were interactions between those two alter ego winged sexy men things. <laughs> now the conclusion to this anime has a lot to be desired. I will toss them a bone though seeing as they did have to make a lot up as they went. Altering from the true story and yada yada yada. But it's a small bone. There was simply not enough dark crad interaction. The story between them came off as something that could be so epic, but it kind of took a back seat to everything else. And everything else wasn't half as interesting. Made me sad. I was still new into my anime years when I first saw this anime, so it was all shiny and new to me back then, and I loved it more then than I do now. My standards for anime have gone up since then. You know, I can't actually fully remember the ending of this series. I just remember really not liking it. Hang on. Okay, so I did forget how cute it was, but I did remember why I didn't like it. It just kind of came to an ending almost too soon for me, really. And like I said, the crad and dark aspect of it wasn't developed enough for that ending to really have the impact it should have. I'm going to give this anime a 3.5 out of 5. You know, this is actually the first time since I started doing reviews that I'm not sure what the next review is going to be. Guess it'll be a surprise for us both. But if you liked this anime, you'll also like Kamikaze Kaito Gen, Full Metal Panic, and Pre-Tier. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye! I'd like to take a moment and thank the King of Thorns for helping me look for extras for you guys for this anime. They also helped with looking for links for the last review as well, so they've been very helpful. <laughs> so thank you very much for your help. All links will be in the underbar. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! But Dark falls for Re... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Rise, Daisuke's crush, actually starts to fall in love with Dark, but Dark ends up trying to fall in love with trying to fall in love? No, he wasn't trying to fall in love. He fell in love! He didn't mean to, it was an accident. He didn't I can't speak right, I'm just gonna just keep rambling off and maybe it'll stop sometime. And stopping probably would be for the best right now because I don't know what I'm saying. It's not making any sense. Okay, we're gonna stop now. Stop my god, stop! <laughs> any links for anything that I... Wait. Wait.